Hey y'all, it's Pookie at the house of Pookie in Pookie's kitchen. How y'all doing? Today I'm cooking, well, sort of, I just was going to show you real quick what I was making. I'm just heating this up. This is shrimp scampi. And it comes with shrimp, um, onions, bell peppers, noodles, and a sauce packet. So you can see this is what it looks like. There's the green sauce packet and all the vegetables. And I have this frozen shrimp with the tails on it. I'm going to throw in there as well to make it more shrimpy. But those shrimps are pretty big. Yep. So they ain't skimping on the shrimp in the scampi. Just saying. I got it in there. It's going to take about 15 minutes to heat up and stir it up. And I'll be with you at my regular spot in a second showing you how it's going to go down in my belly. Get in my belly. That looks pretty dang good as it is. But I'm going to add some ramen in there. All right. Now this is what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, way more filling. Mm -mm. Okay guys, so let's get to it. I've got water to drink, no flavored. Although it looks like I'm drinking punch. That's because this rack space glass is one of those temperature sensitive ones. Like those. All right, now some of the shrimp that I have, if you watch that little clip, has some shrimp like this with the tails on them. So I'm gonna use my fingers. To get it off. FYI. Mmm, good flavor. It's garlic flavor. I think I said that already. Let's get to it. So it's been almost a week since I've done a, a last video. Sorry about that, y'all. Haven't eaten since then. <clears throat> no online. Um just have been busy, I guess. Uh, let's see. I learned, or I bought a harmonica. See? And I'm learning to play it. I learned the song Amazing Grace last night. Thanks to YouTube. So there. I ain't great at it because I just learned starting yesterday. But I bought the harmonica yesterday, so I'm excited because it's a new thing to keep me occupied. And, um, mmm. I love the scrimp. Adding ramen was a great idea. There's peas, there's red bell peppers, and yellow bell peppers. I'm just making a mess, all right. I go through some napkins on my videos, don't I? But take a look. You can see the the bell peppers, the shrimp, the ramen. Doesn't it look good? I'm telling you, it tastes good. So, um, in my last video, I did have a few comments uh, from when I asked about if someone. If I had a P.O. box or something like that, would somebody write like a pen pal? I'd write them back. Would they write? And a few people said they would. So, I do have a P.O. box now. So, if you want to write, write. I promise I'll write back. Mm-hmm. And, um, I don't care. You can do like a letter or card or whatever. Um, it's kind of funny. I remember many years ago, my dad, um, was trying to make amends with me. I mean, we didn't have a falling out, but he divorced my mom when I was three. So, you know, he did the custody thing for a while, but not for too long. So, one day he sent me a letter and it was typed, like with a real typewriter. And um, so I decided, okay, I'll write him back. I mean, he was in Galveston and I was in like Sugar Land. Um, so we weren't but an hour apart, but... I wrote him a letter. Well, I got a freaking hand cramp because I'm like, when's the last time I actually wrote? And this was like 10, 15 years ago. If you think about it, 
most of us just write like little notes like on stickies or something we rarely ever sit down and just write a letter but if you write me i'll write back i will no i didn't just do that see that just bounced that just bounced off my chest y'all i'm not lying it's right here <laughs> it just went boing <laughs> the cowboys are like get off me Anyway, uh, so I will handwrite it. I usually write cursive, so if you don't want it in cursive, let me know. But anyway, here's the address. I'll put it on the screen and also list it down in the description below. So you got that done. Speaking of cowboys, today is, oh, uh, I don't know, Monday or Tuesday. I think today today's Tuesday. The cowboys played Sunday, and they made a touchdown at the very end the entire game they changed leads between the two teams seven different times and the, the spread was about two points and the cowboys won it by five points it's a miracle we won that game but it's eight games out of nine we've won killing it it's amazing Next week is a home game, and they play at noon on Sunday. So, um, because of that, we'll probably drive up there early in the morning. And drive back after the game. It's about a four-hour drive from my house. <clears throat> um. Someone did say in a comment in the last video, her name's Betty. Hey, Betty, thanks for being concerned and showing your care, careness, caring, like, concernness. Oh. Um, she did ask about Sugar Plum Yum Yum. Says she noticed in the last couple of videos I hadn't really said much and my mood's been a little different. And she's right. Like, things have changed with us. Like, we went from the, you know the early like relationship ooh exciting phase to almost I mean to be honest we weren't we were still going out we're still dating but the thrill was gone it's too early for the thrill to be gone so um I brought up to him a couple times she's like baby nothing has changed and I don't mean like thrill, like, he's still very sweet, but if you have watched my videos when we first started, he was saying the sweetest things, like, you make my heart skip a beat, you know, every breath I think of you, that kind of sweet stuff, it just stopped. But it was still like, hey angel, hey baby, hey love, how are you doing? You know, still sweet, but that how I make him feel sweetness went away. And, um, and then when he was having football time with his buddy, and I wasn't around where before he would text me a lot he stopped texting me um, or he very little text me and I know because I've been in games with him he's always texting people on his phone so anyway last night um, I don't know I kind of told him that I was done trying. I brought it to his attention a few times. He told me nothing was wrong. So he said, you know, he just, the, the sweetness that I asked for never came back. And um, I just told him I was tired of trying and if he wanted to come get his stuff, he could. And uh, that um, he, um, I don't know he woke up to that message and that wasn't a good thing it wasn't something I wanted to do but I've been in relationships before where people don't care and I've tried every time in those relationships to say this is what I feel is wrong this is what I need use a napkin to make it work you know and, and no you know if you got something for me I'll, I'll listen to it 
but this is what I know I need or I'm going to leave. Like, I just can't do this. And so I allow it to go on for a little while and I try my best to make it work. But if it doesn't work, it, you know, after so long, you can only say so much. I'm not going to beg for your love and affection. So then at that point, I leave. So anyway, he wasn't too thrilled about that. And, you know, long story short, we had an extremely long conversation on text, unfortunately, but um, we were both working. This is good, y'all. And, um, um, we're still talking, but the long and short of it is I may have said or done something at some point in the past that caused him to stop communicating like he did and then he you know like if i said you know you're not being sweet enough then he felt like he was being judged and measured on everything he said so he he reduced it instead of talking to me about it and i understand that because when i get less communication i did the same thing but i when i felt like it was an issue i communicate that and say it's an issue so um, actually just before this video, I did ask him why in the last two or three weeks when I brought it up to him that things have changed, why wouldn't he say it's because you did this and as a result, I've done that. And then we could have hashed it out and move forward in a better relationship instead of damaging it for the last two or three weeks. So, um, that's still to be determined. I think we'll make it. Um, but I want that feeling back, you know, that excitement and the, just the joy of knowing that I'm wanted in his life. This whole time, I thought he was being complacent. And I'm like, you know, just because you caught me doesn't mean you got to quit trying. So, we'll see. I still really like him. I still adore him a whole lot. In the beginning, I felt feelings that might be love. And I was very excited about it. But I refrained from really showing it or speaking it. Because I didn't want to make the mistake of saying it. And it be that phase where it wasn't right. And then after a month or so, it went downhill. So... I'm glad I, I didn't really go there too deep with my feelings for him, but I can honestly say I care about him a whole lot and I want us to work. I know where my heart's at right now and it's still early. It's only been a couple of months. So is it too early to be going through all this? Yes, but we are learning each other. And we both have relationship issues from the past that we're trying to adapt. Anyway, that's it. We're we're still dating. Um, we're still going to go to the game on Sunday, I guess. But that excitement is over. And it's to be continued if it's going to come back. And to be honest with you guys, I wanted this channel to be all about me and being real and not fake so sugar plum yum yum if at some point you find out where my channel is and you watch these videos and you see this just know i'm not talking bad about you i'm just talking about how i feel and it's real it's real so it's real But anyway, yeah, I want this channel to be, I don't want to watch what I have to say because somebody's watching. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm worried this is all going to leave me so fast soon. I'm talking about the food, not sugar plum yum yum. <laughs> of course, I was worried about that when I said come get your stuff. I was worried, but I was doing what I felt like I had to do in my heart. 
Um, hmm. What else is going on? What else? That's about it with me. I've been trying to do some of these meals at home. I still eat out sometimes. Turn it so it looks better for y'all. Um, but it's good to eat at home every once in a while, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Someone told me on my last video, I didn't slurp and gulp enough. It's the same person I think that wanted me to do other ASMR stuff. I just can't. You see my fingerprint where it was? This is sweating. All my ice melted. No, it's not that hot in here. Rack space, I think, is some kind of a... Uh, excuse me, it's a... Um, uh, excuse me, a storage solution, I think, for online stuff. Like uh, the cloud, you know, like storing data. Yep. At work yesterday, a VP of financial reporting threw some papers on my desk, screaming and yelling. This is not my job. This is Treasury's job. You should do this. I'm done with it. And walked off, and I'm like, I didn't even look at him. I don't deal with that kind of behavior well at all. Especially not in an office environment. I mean, I think that's unethical, to be honest with you. I think it's harassment. So anyway, he came back later. Problem was, he was looking for somebody to sign that those documents that he gives to me that I forward to the banks for distribution for our um, like our lending group. And um, the part my boss was on vacation that day. He was mad because he couldn't get her to sign it. So he had the CFO sign it, which is fine. So he came back to me. He's like, well, I'll just have him do it because I have nothing better to do. <laughs> and yesterday was a, a, a struggle for me emotionally. I was all day. No, this wasn't yesterday. This was Friday. My bad. Y'all, a lot of stuff has happened. Anyway, Friday I wanted to go home and cry because all this other drama I had. But, um... Anyway, it worked itself out. I informed my boss what happened when they came in and she's like, you want me to say something? I'm like, nope. I let him know he can't act like that with me. So it's all good in the neighborhood. But this guy's like, I want to get off of him. He's so funny and sweet. Some minutes and the next minute. He's like throwing a hissy fit, literally slamming phones, slamming doors. It's crazy. You never know what you're gonna get. Like his life is like a box of chocolates, but it's like by the minute. I'm glad I don't work for him. Anyway, it's too um too on again, off again. You never know. Kind of like dealing with the woman on her time of the month. No offense, ladies. I can say that because I'm a woman. I go through it. But for real, that behavior is crazy. You cannot do that in an office environment. It's displayed for the world to see. All right, so like I said, today's Tuesday. Uh, my kids came over this weekend. It was awesome. We went to my niece's 15th birthday celebration, which is her quinceanera. She was so beautiful. I wanted to cry. And then when my sister danced with her, which is her mother, of course, I did cry like a big ass baby. Oh my God, I was bawling. Anyway, um, she did a cool dance. You know, she had the routine dance with all the group of them. It was pretty cool. 
I got to see one of my friends I hadn't seen in a while that I talked to pretty much every day, but, um, uh, we hung out just a little bit, saw all my family. It's good stuff. Um, my kids went back Sunday and watched the Cowboys game. That's it. Um, uh, it is hard to believe Thanksgiving's going to be here next week. I will try to video some of the dinner stuff. I don't know if I'll be able to video me eating or not. My kids did not want to do a mukbang with me. I probably could have forced my youngest, but she ain't having none of it. She didn't have time or whatever. My oldest said she'd do it, but she would just watch me. She wouldn't eat while we did it, which was stupid. We'll see. Maybe one day. Um... Yeah, so, um, I got all kinds of family coming over Saturday after Thanksgiving for Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, if you hear me, Alley Cat, if you're watching this video, let me know if them babies came yet. I don't think they did. I think you got another week, but just in case, I'm curious, let me know. Not sure when I'll do another video. It was only Tuesday, so I'm pretty sure I'll do one before the weekend. I'm pretty sure of it. Her. Cowboys. Wouldn't this be awesome? Okay, biggest rival for Cowboys are the Texans, right? Because they're Texas teams. And Texans are always talking shit about the Cowboys, how they're... There are five Super Bowls. We're so old. We need to get over it. That was so long ago. Yet, Texans haven't won it. Alright? But it's like, they just had a... They gotta be haters. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not all Texans fans, but a lot of them. The truth. So, anyway. One eight out of nine games. I think there's uh, two teams that are like two wins or maybe now three, I don't know, behind us. Um, so we got a good shot at all this. It's looking really good. We can't screw this up. But let's say mate, we make it to the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl is going to be in Houston this year. So if we make it to the Super Bowl, which we will. So let me just say when we make it to the Super Bowl. We will be playing at the NRG Stadium. It's NRG Stadium. And which is the Texans stadium. <laughs> yeah, we're going to play the Super Bowl in the Texans stadium. And we're going to kick tail. We're going to win the Super Bowl. And once and for all, shut up all the Cowboys haters. Now, if you're a Texans fan, like my sister, she's a Texans fan, but she's not a hater for the Cowboys. She just loves the Texans. I like her. Well, I love her because she's my sister. But I like her because of that. I don't like the Texans fans that trash talk the Cowboys for absolutely no reason. And call them cow cowgirls and just talk a bunch of trash for no reason. Don't like it. And then on top of that, back when Shaw was their football player, their quarterback, they he wasn't doing good and they were trash talking him. What kind of confidence do you think that did for him? Probably didn't do too much for him, I don't think. Anyway, I'm done with my food, so I'm off my high horse. I don't think you're supposed to um, play a harmonica after you eat with food in your mouth, but I'm going to show you what I learned. Please don't laugh at me. I bought this yesterday, and I learned this yesterday. Okay, this is supposed to be amazing, though, <laughs> Grace. Uh, Sugar Plum Yum Yum asked if it was Jingle Bells, and I wasn't happy already, and that just made me cry. He was joking, of course, but it hurt my feelings, so be nice, please. Okay, ready?
Thank you very much. And this one, I think I remember this from when I was a kid. I was trying to learn this. It was this one. That's all I know. Can you guess what that one is? If you can guess it and you know it, put it in the comments below. I'll give you a shout out in the next video if you can guess what that was. <laughs> Alright y'all. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please comment because I love your comments. Like it if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're not already. And thanks again for watching. Guys, I'm over 700 subscribers now. I can't believe it. You guys love you guys. I love you guys. This is what me and my youngest daughter do. Like when we're when she's leaving and I'm waving bye, we just like it's our thing, you know. It means I love you. The I, the L, and then the U. Alright, love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye y'all.